All right, welcome, Elf Pagers. It's been a long time since I actually got dressed a little bit before time. I was like almost ready to rock. You know, rock and roll. <laughs> Everybody's just shaking their head going, wow, you are crazy. Okay, so hang on a second. Let's just check. Woo, that's the sound of Facebook Live. Clink, clink. All the money that they have, they couldn't come up with a better sound than that. I'm just... I'm just saying, yeah, you couldn't have like da 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 or something in, you know, Ashkenazi or Yiddish or something. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see who's on. Oh, what's up, Mary? How are you? Welcome or shalom. I don't see my mug. I think it's coming. Okay, so let's see how let's do the sound check. Testing, okay. testing, testing. Okay. Happy Tuesday, Mary. Can you see me? Because I can't see me over here. The stream's not available. That's crazy. All right, let's check. Let's see how Facebook's looking. See if we're working on Facebook. All right, we'll get started in just a moment. I just want to make sure people are able to see me. And I have had internet problems all day today. Oh, well, that's part of the problem right there. I am on a slow internet connection. What the heck? Okay, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. But it looks like I'm live on this portion. Uh, I don't think Mary can see me. Man, it is moving super slow tonight. Well, I'm just going to have to do it. And if you guys can't see me, I will pre I will post it anyway. So I apologize if you can't see me. I've had nothing but internet problems. I don't know, maybe the government's running my internet or something because it's like the DMV, it's super slow. So I, I, I don't know what's going on, but it is super slow today, my internet. Okay, so without further ado, see it says live video interrupted. I see I said the word government all of a sudden. Boom. I'm just kidding. Kind of. Okay. You know what? I am going to change my internet connection because this is not working. Hang on a second. It's going to mess everything up. For a moment. Okay, so streaming live now, live service. There we go. Hang on a second. It's still saying streaming not available. Crazy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hmm. Interesting. Facebook went out. Oh, Facebook's back live. Okay. Well, for those of you who are watching my website, I apologize. I will fix it here. You know, you'll be able to see a pre-recording. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. I think I've already said that before. So I'm a little mixed up. See, when I get technical difficulties, I get confused because I don't want you guys to miss anything. So Shalom Mouth Pagers. Shalom. Happy Tuesday. Yom Shlishi. Man, it's already Tuesday. And how I know that is because every morning at 7 o'clock, my trash people come making that noise. And I can hear pushing the thing. That's how I know it's Tuesday. 
So every Tuesday, it's like, it's kind of like the sound of music, right? You're like, oh, I can hear, oh, it's time to get up, my alarm clock, because there's the dump trucks. Hope everyone's had a great day, had a great week so far. I'm Rabbi Yak. Look at outside of San Francisco, Mouth Page is an online spiritual community, and we're an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live weeknight motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and every Friday is our Shabbat service. Check us out. Check out our website, mouthpage.com. So we have been going live now for 65 weeks, and we are now over 68,600 diehard mouth pages liking us and following us on Facebook. That's awesome. We had a little law the last couple days. You know, I was getting a little worried because we weren't moving the needle. I'm like, no. But the needle's moving again, so I love it. So thank you so much, all of you. I know sometimes I get a little crazy, so I feel like I, I go backwards and I go forwards, go backwards, go forwards. But the message is what it's all about. And I, and I hope you continue to find our community, a place where you can grow spiritually. The cool thing about it is, is all I ask for is donations. If you don't want to give it, then don't give it. But it's, it doesn't cost anything to watch the show. It costs, what, a few minutes of your time? Well, what doesn't? I mean, I turned on the news the other day, and that's like, I wasted like 10 minutes of my time. I, I can never get that back because that was horrible that was horrible so i hope you don't think this is horrible i hope you think this is great and valuable information so let's kick it off with the shema the shema is a declaration of faith in one god hero israel adonai is our god adonai is one blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever and in hebrew shema israel adonai lohano adonai akad baruch shen kavod mahuto leilam be'ed there you go. So last night, we did Passover time. So as you know, Passover is coming. It starts this Friday. It's this Friday, right? It's it's time for the Passover Seder. You get the plate, and you have all the yummy foods and the different meanings behind it. You get to read the Haggadah. You get to talk about all the, the things that happen on Passover, right? So since Passover is coming, I figured we'd just get started a little earlier and start talking about Exodus now. So last night we did Exodus 1 and part of 2, and we talked about never giving up. But tonight we're going to talk about love. Love knows no difference. Knows no difference. It doesn't. Now what does that mean? Okay, so love knows difference. Knows no difference. Say that just three times and see you stumble. So we talked about Exodus 2 last night. And we talked about how Moses' mom wasn't going to give up her kid to the government. She wasn't. She wasn't going to give it up. No way. She was not going to give her, her child up. There just was no way she was going to do that. So she said, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and put my kid on the river. So when she did that, then what had happened? Well, she, of course, probably prayed and prayed that God would take care of her kid. So let me read you Exodus 2, number 5. The Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the riverbank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She opened it up and saw a baby. He was crying. She felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. So right there, Hebrew babies. Then the sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him to me, and I will pay you. So... Here, here's the thing. First of all, 
the Pharaoh's daughter goes down to the river with all of her, you would call it what, an entourage today. And she's bathing and she's doing her thing while everybody's doing their thing and, you know, catering to her need. This baby comes on the riverbank. She sees it. She falls in love with it. Here is the greatest part right here. She does not care that it's a Hebrew. She does not care. She does not care. This is what she wants. She wants a child. God gave her a child. She got a child. She didn't have to wait in line. She didn't have to go and do all the paperwork. She didn't have to have home visits. She didn't have to have the Department of Social Services out there doing all these interviews. She's standing there taking a bath, and this child comes up on her. So she, what is she going to do? She looks at it, and she falls in love with this child. She's so pumped. She's so juiced. She's like, wow, this is great. I want to keep this. And right away, you know, her assistant's like, hey, that's a Hebrew. She don't care. She don't care. That's important. That right there, love. She loves this, this child. And she knew that if she raised this child to be her own, that she could raise this child the way she wants the child. That she can love this child and nurture this child. Give this child everything that this child needs. She didn't care about anything else. But, but everybody else did. Oh my gosh, it's a Hebrew. Oh, your dad and your brother is going to be so mad. But she didn't care because it's a little baby. Little baby didn't know anything. Little baby didn't do anything. Little baby wasn't going to revolt. The little baby wasn't going to sit there and pull out a knife or a gun. The little baby is just a little baby crying, wanting some food and wanting love. That's all the Pharaoh's daughter saw. She saw that. She's like, wow, I want this child and I'm going to raise this child. That's the love of the mother. That's the that's what she did. Even though the, the, Moses' mother pushed the child away and later on ended up helping the Pharaoh's daughter raise the child and pretend like she wasn't the mom at all. But the Pharaoh's daughter, that's what this is the most important. This is what this is about. Not judging. Even though that other people were telling her, hey, this is not our people this is not our people this is not our people look at the cloth here this is a hebrew cloth this is a hebrew kid oh my gosh but the point being made for her was her dad who's in charge the pharaoh was saying we want to kill all these hebrew males but here's her daughter his daughter holding one of the hebrew males well, he's not going to go against his child. So he lets her keep her baby. So that's important because she said, hey, I want to keep. Who cares what he is? It's important to know that because back then you had the Hebrews and different types of Hebrews. And there was all kinds of Israelites and other ethnicities all around the lands. But they had the Hebrews as the slaves and the Egyptians were keeping them as slaves. The Egyptians were very powerful. So when the Pharaoh's daughter had this little child and everybody's like, wait a minute. Now don't forget, remember where Egypt is located. So the Egyptians are definitely going to be looking different than probably what the Hebrews look like because a little bit different skin tone. So the Egyptians already say, wait a minute, he don't look nothing like us. So we know this isn't your real child. So where did you get it? That's what they're probably asking her. But love is important. Love doesn't care. What your religion is. Love doesn't care how tall you are. Love doesn't care how old you are. Love doesn't care if you're in shape. Love doesn't care if you're out of shape. Love doesn't care what your ethnicity is. Love doesn't care. Love is love. Love wants to be welcomed. 
Love wants to welcome others. Love wants to be there. That's what God does. God wants to love first. God doesn't want to have to flex his might and his muscles. We all know that he can. We've seen it over and over and over. God wants to love first. God wants to show the world how much he loves us. Let's give God that opportunity to show us that. We see so much evil and hatred. Heck, I just drive on the road and I can see it. And I can just imagine if it's on the road, on the freeway, where else is it? Because it is bad and ugly on the street. If it's ugly on the street, where else is it ugly? Now, why? Why are we so mad? Why? So somebody cuts us off and we're flipping them off, giving them the bird, honking, getting yelled and jumping. I mean, I literally saw a car the other day where this person got cut off. And I mean, they were freaking out in the car. It looked like a caged tiger jumping around back and forth, and they were driving. And I'm like, what are you getting so angry for? Love. Where's love at? Love. Love. Just shake it off. The other person also could have you know, raised a hand saying, sorry, I didn't mean to do it. But they didn't. And they're just going at it with each other. It's just crazy. Why? We would hurt another human being because they cut us off. Would we? Would we really do that to cut you off? I mean, could you imagine looking at God after you're dead and saying, God, please let me go to heaven. I didn't mean to beat this person to a bloody pulp because I cut him off. I'm so sorry. God would be like, what are you doing? So why would we even have to get there? Why do we even have to get to that point? Why don't we just say, hey, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Live to fight another day, right? No big deal. Love. We got to love each other. How hard is that? We make it so hard and so difficult to love another person. <laughs> I turn on TV and I watch reality TV show just, just as material. Not that I like it because I don't. But just as material. Man, I've never seen so many narcissistic people in my life. I'm like, whoa. You would love yourself no matter what you look like, but you won't love another person. That's the difference. There's nothing wrong with loving yourself. Don't forget God first. Everything else is beneath that. God has to be first. If you don't love God more than you love yourself, there's the problem. So again, to wrap it up, the Pharaoh's daughter didn't care. Didn't care. Didn't care what her dad said because she even knew in her heart of hearts. She knew. You're crazy, old man. I'm not going to give up a kid because you're just worried that they're going to overthrow you. She didn't care. She wanted a child. And she fell in love with this child. She did. This Passover. We need to make a change, and we need to make a change now. If we're done listening to everybody yickety yakking. We're done just saying, uh, we need to start doing. We need to start doing stuff to make a difference. If we're not making a difference for ourselves, then what are we doing? Make a difference for ourselves so we can make a difference for others. You know, I listen to the airlines when you're on a plane and they say, hey, make sure that you put your seatbelt on first and your oxygen mask on, on first before you help another person. I agree with that in a sense. Because if you're not ready to deal with God's stuff, then how are you going to help someone else? Deal with yourself. Get your relationship with God. Get yourself in line so you can help another person. You've got to help yourself. You do. But you also got to help others. You can't just say, oh, I'm just helping myself. That's it. No. But you got to make sure that yourself is ready to go. Put yourself, take care, and then help others. You always want to help others too because that's what God will do. There you go. Word of the day is love. Love knows no difference. Difference in what? Difference in anything. 
No difference in ethnicity, color, religion. We talked about that. L, love others as you do yourself. Let that sink in for a moment. Think about it. Think about what I just said. Think about that. Let that sink in. Oh, only God can show you what love truly is. B, victory comes from loving others. Evil wants us, E, evil wants us to love ourselves only. Let that sink in. Think about that. Because if you love yourself only, it becomes narcissistic. You'll do everything for yourself and nothing for others. Hmm. Think about that. Before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. So healing prayers to my father-in-law, to my mother-in-law, to Joy, to Scott, to Suzanne, to April, to Tony's surgery next week. To Charlotte, to Vicky, to Liza's father, Laura's mother, Kenny, Ceci, Terry, April's family, Christine's family, Laura's mother, Jeremiah, Joshua, Jason, Juan, Juanita, Jesus, Sam's daughter, Raul, Rula, Roger, Robert, Stephanie, Samir, Ralph's mother, Greg Zan, Sandy, Sen, John, Melissa, Kim, Paul, Paul, and Italia, Nancy, Nathan, Byron, Brian, Mark, Eric, Rabbi Marvin Perlman, his family, Steve, Felicia and her family, and Jonathan and Sydney. Amen. And happy birthday. Happy birthday wishes. Yamlet Sameach to Heather, Pam, Bill, and Stacy. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. Amen. Number 62327. I want to I want to thank you all for watching tonight and being the best part of Mouth Page. Man, thank you so much. It's awesome. Check us out every Monday through Thursday live on Facebook and on our website, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Unless my internet's going crazy like it is tonight, check out our website, www.mouthpage.com. Check out our YouTube channel, Mouth Page Spiritual Community. Don't forget to like us and follow us on Facebook. Passover is coming up this weekend, and for those of you who are Christian, Easter is coming up also. Good Friday is this Friday for those of you who are Christian as well. No meat for those Christians. No meat this this Friday. I just I'm just saying no meat if you're if you're a Christian. No meat if you or is that Catholic? No meat if you're Catholic. No meat. I just say it. All right. <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Check us out every week, Monday through Friday. Don't forget to donate and check out all of our service. Where Mouth Page is a nonprofit organization. Help others to be nice. God bless all I told. I love you all. Mwah. I will see you all tomorrow. Amen.